Am I the only one who gets the feeling that this weather is never going to end? I mean, seriously, look at it. I'm Thomas, and this is Blame the Weather. Hey everyone, and welcome to Blame the Weather, Ireland's only YouTube weather forecast. Now, as I mentioned before the title sequence, the forecast for the next few days aren't going to sound too good. The weather situation is still gloriously chaotic. Low pressure is dominating, in fact there's a really strong low pressure system that is due to arrive on Thursday. And in general, the weather patterns seem to be completely out of kilter. The weather that we're getting at the moment would be more fitting on the Faroe Islands or the mid to north sections of Norway at this time of year. But it's down here in Ireland today and we gotta deal with it. Now what does that mean exactly? Well Wednesday, April 25th is um, going to be yet another cool day. Morning temperatures will come in at around 6 degrees before rising to a generous 11 degrees around lunchtime. By nighttime we'll be back down to 5 degrees. The day will start off relatively dry, however by lunchtime rain will have moved into the country, which will by lunchtime also have turned persistent and will be staying until the late afternoon. It should be clear by the evening though. All this will be happening in fresh to strong westerly winds. They should, however, um, ease off during the day, so strongest winds will be around morning. Thursday, April 26th, is going to start off cool yet again with around 4 degrees. It will be even colder around lunchtime with around 10 degrees, before falling back to around 5 degrees at night. Once again, we're looking at a dry start to the day. In fact, most of the morning will be dry as well. However, by lunchtime, rain will have moved into the country, which will quickly turn heavy. This rain is attached to a strong Atlantic low pressure system that looks like it's going to scrape by to the south of Ireland. It will still come close enough to Ireland to cause significant, potentially even severe rainfall. So be on the lookout for any weather alerts. I have a feeling we might see a few issued over the next couple of days. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't mention it before, that rain is going to last well into Friday. Due to the southerly track of the low pressure system, most of the wind is going to pass us by. Most of Thursday will be a mostly calm day. However, by the mid to late afternoon, strong, potentially gale force winds from the north might come into play. Now, Friday, April 27th, may be the last day before the weekend, but it certainly isn't a party day from what I can see. Mornings will once again be cool, if not cold, with 4 degrees, reaching yet again 10 degrees around lunchtime. The real shocker comes at night. Nighttime lows will drop down to 0 degrees, potentially below it. Yes, you heard that right. I couldn't believe it myself when I saw the weather models, but... We're definitely looking at zero degrees potentially frost overnight from Friday into Saturday. I'm not joking. The rest of the day doesn't look much better either. The heavy rain that moved in on Thursday is continuing well into the morning, potentially only clearing by lunchtime. With a little luck it may move a bit faster, but I'm not sure about that yet. Most of the rest of the afternoon will most likely bring showers, although that part isn't clear. And by the evening, any remaining showers and remaining clouds may have cleared, which would explain the severe temperature drop. Now, the weekend itself doesn't look much better temperature-wise. It'll still be mostly gray, it'll still be cool, but at least at the moment it looks like it'll be mostly dry. Beyond that, I had originally hoped that we might get some warm weather by the middle of the first week of May, but as of the latest forecast that I've seen, that's gone out the window, so... Better don't put those warm jackets away yet. We might still need them. And that's all for me today. Thank you very much for watching. In the last video, I introduced some new daily summary screens to sum up the weather for the day a bit more briefly. How do you like them? You can click on the little eye icon in the upper right hand corner of the video and just give me the answer in a quick survey. Once again, if you liked the video, please click the thumbs up button. Every like is a huge help for me. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please share, and if you don't want to miss any more of my forecasts, please click the subscribe button and also the little notification bell. 
As always, leave your thoughts, comments, questions and critique in the comment section below and check the video description for all my blog links and my social media channels. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, don't blame me, blame the weather and God knows there's enough to blame there.